Hey everyone, my name is Taylor Martin. I'm the manager for the Hunting and Fishing Academy for the Tennessee Wildlife Federation. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on how to set up a ground blind in the woods. We're going to get into it. We got a, a Maristep three person blind. First thing before you actually set up your blind, find your right location. Finding the right location is going to depend on what you're hunting. In this case, we're hunting whitetail, so we found these nice trees that are going to give us good concealment. So the next thing is pop the top and the sides out. And it's going to have a strap and you're just going to pull to pop it up. So now all you're going to do is go around each side to pop those out as well. We're not popping this up the day before we're going to hunt. We're doing this weeks in advance. So when deer are walking by, they can get used to seeing this structure that wasn't there a few days ago. Now that we have the blind up, we want to make sure that it's positioned correctly for this particular setup. Our road is right over here. So I want my door facing that direction. Especially for whitetail hunting, your scent uh, is gonna make or break your hunt. So the quicker I can get into this blind, the better. So the next thing is stake it down. Each of these blinds are gonna come with a bag of stakes. So we're gonna stake down all the inside corners. So you're just gonna take it and push it down. And it's really important for this, you push the stake all the way into the ground. One, because you wanna make sure your blind is secured to the ground so it's not gonna go anywhere. And two, uh, the last thing you want first thing in the morning when you're coming in here is have something to trip over and make a lot of noise and potentially scare off any game. So now that you got your blind all staked down, you know it's securely in place, uh, this is a good time to, if you have a blind chair, it's a good time to go ahead and place that inside the blind. This is gonna keep you from having to carry it in first thing in the morning or in the afternoon when you're coming to your blind. So once you have everything in there that you want to be in there, you just zip it up and it is good to go. We've talked a lot about how to set up this ground blind today. So some of you may be pretty eager to go out and buy one that fits your needs. Always check out Academy Sports and Outdoors when you're looking for blinds. They have a lot of great options and they're gonna have anything else you'll need for your hunt. If this interests you and you're wanting to learn more about hunting and fishing, make sure you check out the Hunting and Fishing Academy and go to tnwf.org interest and see everything the Hunting and Fishing Academy has to offer.